My name is Michael Paschut and I'm the proud owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I'm even prouder to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters, your number one review specialist for all things new. If you are looking for a new or used car, if you're looking for advice, visit changecars.co.za and I promise you, you will get the best advice from the best dealers in South Africa. What are you going to throw? Hey, we're going to back. Oh. I'm going to throw you in a minute. <laughs> That's how the fight story is. It? Yeah, that's what they say in the classics. We're back again. Thank you for Here's my well, coffee. I'm out. Coffee is always made by me. Because mm. that's how we do these podcasts. Yeah. Well, you know, Terrible. over the last Terrible. while, always, but I'll drink it. I've been working my way through the Isuzu range. D-Max, and I just got my first MUX. Mm. Oh, as somebody called it, the MOOCs. The MOOCs. Anyway, the MOOCs. They called it. Yeah. Okay, now, you've got the typical oh, example. Share either of those with me. You did. You got the. You, I got the. You, you, you yeah, did yeah, drive yeah. a couple of the D Max. I had it. I had it for a while. Okay. Now, it's the same as the opposition where you've got the Bucky. Yeah. And now you've got the Bucky based SUV. Can yeah. I call it? Okay. So they, it's in the same category. And you've got question on mm, everybody's yeah. lips mm, is mm. refinement of the SUV, the Max, the MUX. Yeah. Okay, I must tell you that my first thing I picked up, because now, having done, what, about four D-Maxes, yes. I finally got the first MUX. Yes. And I, I'm assuming, and you tell me, you, you, you are an engineer, so, aren't you? Yes. Somewhere along the way. Yeah. Okay. I felt that the ride, the smoothness of the ride on the MUX was way better than the D-Max, which is a bit bouncy, jolty, whatever, compared to you know, the newest opposition. Let's mm -hmm. use that word. Mm -hmm. I found the MUX that much better. Mm -hmm. And my take on it, as a non-engineer, is it must have a lot to do with the extra body work, the extra weight at the rear of the vehicle. I.e. the same as when you put a load on the back of a bucky. And the suspension will be different. There's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, but do you agree with me on that? Well, I think, I think, I think weight certainly has got yeah. something to do mm -hmm. with ironing out the, the, yeah. the stiffness of okay. the springs. Yeah. But I would... Put tender nether regions of mine on the on the block with a blunt knife. That the suspension is different. Yet they say it's not. It's like it's like some other people that say. Well, okay, but now you, okay, you got to define suspension in a number of ways. Yeah. You've got this, the, the 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 coil springs. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. correct. But yeah. you've mm, also mm. got shocks. Yeah. And shocks mm. play a huge yeah. role. Okay, but what so, I found with the MUX, which better ride, much better ride, much mm. smoother. Uh, another thing I found now, look, we, we're comparing it to opposition, we have to mm -hmm. do. So I'll say something I noticed when I was doing my video on the MUX is the access to those rearmost seats yes. is actually easier than some of the opposition. It's a seven-seater. Yeah, seven-seater. Yeah. And also... They, was, they fold down seats. They fold, fold down. flat, yes. okay, yeah. into the boot floor, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Let's not comment on that now. <laughs> Everybody knows where we're going with that comment. But we also... Were. No, there is a bit oh! more, there is a touch more headroom and legroom in those extra seats compared to some of the opposition. Mm -hmm. So I did like I did notice that and like that. Being an eleven year old as opposed to ten year old. Correct. As okay. always, boot with all seven seats is not even a half Allen boot. That's tiny. It's my, but like its opposition. Yeah. But it's a good three Allen boot if you a five seater. If you're a five seater. Correct. So again, it's nice. Now let's. Can you fold the middle seats down as well and make it like a uh, two hundred element? Well, yes, because the access to those rearmost seats they fold and flip. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, and so it's a one. Really, you can put a lot of stuff. In it's there. a one action. Okay. Fold and flip, which is really nice. Okay. Good okay. design. Yeah. Good. I like that. Uh, you get the two engine options: the one point nine, the three liter, both four cylinder diesels. Now, yeah. where is Suzu positive and negative? By the three liter. The 1.9, it's it's a little engine in a big body. Can I call it that? Yes, it'll do the job, but you're going to get frustrated along the way, I think. But it's all about the money at the end of the day. I don't think you're going to save any fuel with 1.9 because, quite honestly, the power-to-weight ratios, etc., etc., yeah. are going to screw you with that. Yeah. So don't people. think you're going to save in that respect. Yeah. Uh, you do save in other ways. But now, the tank that I come up with on the two things with the, the Isuzu range. 
the whether it's the DMX or the MUX, they are a generation behind Ford, for example. Mm -hmm. So that engine is very agricultural, relative. And I'm using that word deliberately. Well, okay? By a it feels like it's already done 60,000 cats. Yeah, but it'll do 500 <laughs> without any do, problem. But it'll do okay? That's the point, okay? So that's what people love about the Isuzu, mm -hmm. is yeah. they'll do your 500 yeah. without a problem, without giving you hassles. Will the rest of the MUX do 500,000? The D-Maxes, I think, will. I I'm not going to say the MUX. I didn't look at it that way. But now, I said this about the D-Max, and it comes to the MUX as well. I didn't have the top range. I had the LSE, okay. the middle spec. Okay. If it was my money, yeah. on Isuzu, and I'm taking both, yeah. I would go bottom spec. Because their top spec models don't quite match the opposition. Or are we talking from just pure features point of view? Features, so, and, and then you go to the refinement, if I can use that word. If you've got the refinement already in the base level, you know, if the ride is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. I'm saying, and I'm going to now go a step further. Of at both the Buckies and the SUVs, how many people ever use the 4x4? Because it's the age old question, it's sort of one of Because like, there are four by two options in the same spec level. Where did we come from? Yeah, but now. Why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, but now listen to this. It's on the MUX. Fundamental. In LSE spec. Yes. You, there's an 85,000 Rand difference between the two. Between and the four by two and four by four. That's okay. Huge. <laughs> then there's another difference. If you go from LSE down to LS and you lose maybe leather trim and one or two bits and pieces. So as we te I tested the LSE, 927,000 Rand. For 800, almost dead on, you can get an LS 4x2. Uh, hey, <laughs> you know what they say, a business, a business plan, a business, does, where's the business sense here? Yeah. If you really want, and you want extra bells and whistles, for 33,000 Rand more than the LSE, get the Onyx and finished. The top spec with active safety and a few other blah, things. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Sorry, Isuzu, I'm not knocking you at all. It's just the way it's panned out. It's just, I'm saying the spec levels and the model, sure. the sure. model choices. Or if you're really tight on money, they've just launched the MUX with the 1.9. At 710,000 Rand. Again, that's a big drop though. It's a big drop. And that's my point I'm making. Yeah. Then maybe you prepare to sacrifice that performance. Sure, sure. But in my point, and this is my opinion, the sweet spot would be the LS 4x2, 800,000 Rand. That's the one I would buy. Done. Done. All right. Same 3 litre engine, same 6 speed auto, etc. Let's not. I shall have to request one for test and then we shall compare notes. Can do that. Okay. Let's leave it there. From us. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. That's your turn now. You lazy auntie.